Yo, what's up, guys? Here we are with the UDS champion himself, Shin Ping Zhu, or should I say, champ, who ended up winning the entire UDS with a, not spiral, not the best deck pendulum, but with rockets. Rockets. It's insane. I remember seeing his deck on the Friday, telling him, bro, your deck sucks. And here he is, destroying me in my face, going undefeated the whole way, bro. Why don't you explain to the world what you just did? So I went, uh. Champion. <laughs> so I went AO for day one after round one by. Uh, day two, I start two rounds. I also got two wins. So the final two rounds, I just give my friends the wins because I guarantee Wait, wait, wait. So you went 10 0? Correct. And you just gave your other two wins away? Yeah, because at that point I top it already. And I'm facing friends I just don't wow. even need. You're, bro, <laughs> they you're... asked me to put my feature. I was like, I'm, I'm conceding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's insane, and, bro. Uh, top A, I play uh, Luna. Top four, I play Dino. And final, I play the Shadal. That's insane, bro. Without further ado, let's check out the goo, bro. Sure. So, starter deck. There's uh, three best card in the deck. There's three safer. Uh, part of safer, there's two baby dragons. These are the, the generic cards. They did good. These are limited for a reason. That card is absurd. Uh, like the deck abused this card a lot. So it's, uh, this card is solved. It's just able to do like the majority of the combos. Yeah. Yeah. So then the, <laughs> the rockets where people focus the most at this point. So it's a uh, tracer, recharger, silver, magna, and a uh, router. Wait, recharger? Yeah. So this <laughs> car, <laughs> this car is a, it, it's your play turn three after you made a board. So if a dark extra that monster got destroyed while, while this car's in your hand or, uh, field, you send this car to graveyard to revive a dark monster that's not the one that got destroyed pretty much. So I've been going to turn three, uh, resolve striker dragon, add this one back, resolve this to revive red eyes. Red eyes bring back another dragon, and suddenly I'm able to make me like bored, so I just kill people. That's insane. Yeah, like Tracer's another like the second best card in the deck. Uh, there's like almost more than ten copies of Tracer's. You need this for the for any, any combos. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, if you just open Tracer, it's worst case a uh, single combo or savage. Still, still good enough. Uh, all, these two rockets flows after they got destroyed at the end phase. Um, and when they're target for link monster, they, they got a trigger effect. This one, get I get to check my opponent's extra deck and banish one. And uh, this one, send a monster from the field to graveyard with a target. So turn one play, I use this to check my opponent's playing mm -hmm. and banish something important. Yeah. This one is like an L2 sleeper, which, yeah. which they happen. Uh, this is the non-rocket rocket monster. When I control rocket, I get to special summon this. It's inherent summon. Yeah. Uh, and when hit the graveyard, I get to search a rocket. Yeah, free by, by anyway. So like this, like a foolish bird or dragon in Shrine will just turn into a, send this and turn into a tracer. Yeah. That's insane. The lineup's huge too. Yeah. It's a pretty big rocket ratio deck. And uh, dra good dragons, red eyes. Yeah, I'm probably getting this card banned. <laughs> 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 the Shudo, Keeper, Shrine. Keeper? Bro, the last, the only time I see this is a cube. Yeah. Dueling score? Yeah, it is. It's actually needed for one of the all of the uh, single card combos, and um, it has a very good effect. Like every time your monster is sent to graveyard by battle by card effect, you Pretty get to bring. It, yeah, it doesn't banish itself. It just yeah. must return. So against like guys, it become infinite monsters, and it has twenty one <laughs> wow. defense. You just can't get rid of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like. Good game. <laughs> yeah, Deshuda uh, is one of my least favorite coin in the deck. I lost game one top play because I had to combo with. Like, I opened Deshuda, so I have to combo with this card, and I got OTK turn three, turn uh, two by yeah. Dinos. Uh, yeah. But hey, guess what? He's in the champ. You are. Let's go. <laughs> and uh, so when my friend first sent me the list, it doesn't have the following three cards. That's the change I made to the list. Mm. It's a. Uh, because, uh, like, my OCG friends in Europe sent me the original yeah. idea. I just put in, like, more TCG-style things. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah this is, like, a, an extension for the uh, Heavenly Sphere. So the original idea is after a tribute for Sphere, I get to search a Phantas. Oh, and uh, 
There's another tricky play with Broltor can do. Uh, not this weekend, but last last weekend at the region I practice, I've gone like I got Nibiru on my sphere, and I already top, I already drew the red eyes. So I just go summon this and target their Nibiru, search my Nibiru. It was against a hero oh, guy. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, Levenir won me a couple games. Uh, it's one. It's it's actually kind of bricky. But if you do open this with a full combo, you get to rip one additional. Yeah. It's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, this is a uh, this card also kills a lot of back rows for me. You're right. Yeah. And uh, the rest for hand traps. I have uh, three ash and three draw. Uh, nice. Draw is just good for the for the meta. I need it for Spire and Luna, obviously. Yeah. Ash. It was like two ash, one uh, two ash, maybe even two ogre. But I realized I need something to stop uh, pots, hidden city, spoofing, Alistair, yeah. Shadow Fusion. Yeah. Mainly Shadow yeah. Fusion. Yeah. That's why I put in, I maxed out Ash and took right. out Ogre. Yeah, so I think it's uh, 27 monsters and uh, spells. Three quick clunch, clutch broken. <laughs> it's, yeah. a, it's, a, it's a teleport. And uh, no one's per turn. If the, the side effect is that monster cannot attack. Go be destroyed at the end yeah, phase. This is insane. I was actually testing a rocket pendulum deck a while ago yeah. with just three E-Tellies like mm -hmm. this. Just like more counters and stuff. And yeah. yeah this, this card actually just broke. But then I realized it was only good when I drew this. But when I drew the rockets on someone. Yeah. Like, but in this time, if I draw the rocket, they're oh, yeah, still it's, good. It's, oh, yeah, sure, yeah. Exactly, yeah. The rockets are good because I have another fill spell. Uh, right. This card is so charged. <laughs> at some point. <laughs> it has uh, three effects. So first, um, you get to... So for... Uh, so there's two parts for the first effect. You get to choose one between the, the two. Yeah. First effect, you get to either special summon up to two rocket with different names from your hand. So that's usually your uh, special summons when you go first. And uh, the second part of the first effect is you get to revive any number of rocket in your graveyard with different names to your board up to the different number from each field. So against Carl game two, when I was locked on window, I will just keep reviving two, three monsters every turn. Trying to survive, trying to draw like my Dark Ruler so I can combo afterwards, but I didn't, and he killed me before that. Uh, yeah, the card is also searchable by Shrike Dragon, so. Right, yeah. Ah, and the best part this card gained all my Rocket 300 attack and defense. <laughs> Yo, imagine Salomon Green Sanctuary boosts all your Salah for 300. <laughs> Suddenly you're facing like 21 Sunlight Wolf and 26 Evil, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> you can't pop that. Yeah, and. Uh, I've uh, crushed the window with this on the board with my silver rocket. It was 19 become 22, I just crushed it. Nice, nice. I've, uh, I've survived against Last Warrior, because that's 2350. I set rocket recharger with the field spell, make it 20 foot defense. So we just sit there for like 10 turns, see who get the out first. Who summoned Last Warrior? Yeah, I, I hit the Waking the Dragon. By lightning storm, <laughs> but I, I had a I, I was able to survive with it. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So cards pretty good. Uh, there's one ravine because searchable is Romulus. Yeah. Uh, two Ola's Lexi Guard I mean, This is the best extender in the deck. Uh, it could be bricky, but whenever you resolve it, uh, like the moving the moving spot effects will able to make me combo guard dragons easier than regular. Right. And uh, uh, also, I've Carl Chain El Shadal on this one. So I just decided to add the monster back to my hands. I'll spare some of that. Yeah. Nice, nice. And uh, Foolish and uh, Shrine. I need to uh, send, Ra send Rodder to search uh, Rocket Tracer. Yeah. And uh, yeah, sometimes I can even send like Brotor, Brotor, Deshudo, or Sh uh, Keeper of the Shrine. Nice. And a lot of three cards, the cosmic. I've oh, heard. Oh, main. You yeah, main, like the engines about thirty cards. The last ten were just like three ash, yeah, three staples. troll, three cosmic, one fantastic. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I've heard, like, decent pro spiral players start maining or focusing more on Mister Mine, so I won't have a natural out in my deck right. to out it. Sure. At least like less pressure with it. Yeah. Like the card is also good. It, it hits uh, Luna Tiger. Right. Yeah. It's a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, 40 cards in the main. No traps. Right. So yeah, extra traps, traps suck. Who play those? <laughs> 40 always. Yeah. Uh, extra uh, three striker dragons. Striker, nice. Strikers. Yeah, my striker cards. <laughs> uh, I, I actually need three. I use two for 
my going first combo almost every time. And I need the third for... Follow? Yeah, turn three follow up, please. Uh, I'll be PSD. LP is probably getting banned as well, but. <laughs> uh, you in Vegas, it is. Let's go. We'll see after that. Uh, Sphere and uh, Ramnus, good dragon, dragons, uh, generics. Uh, B Cop. This one's like very important to be here. It's uh, the only link to with arrows like this that can turn on your guard dragons. Yeah. That's also able to use Nibiru token and able to be summoned after I use Tracer, which I lock on Dark afterwards. So this is the only one, so it has to be this one. Uh, then there's some Rocket Extra, there's the Quabble Dragon, and the Linger's Dragon. So this one, you discard a card in your hand to target a Link monster on the board, destroy it, or well, target any monster on the board, destroy it. If you destroy a Link monster that way, you get to spare summon up to uh, any number of rockets in your graveyard with different names up to the number of the link ratings. Cool. I've popped an IP for my opponent, got two free special summon back. I've popped on Friday in a wing of mass, someone bore load my link four. Next turn, I just go summon this, pop my link four, four, four rockets back. That was rough. Wow. Yeah, that was rough. <laughs> that was rough. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, the art of soul charging the deck. <laughs> And uh, triple burst, need a link three dragon with arrows. And the boss monsters. Unchained Abomination, Boar Sword. Unchained Abomination, this card is amazing. It has three effects. Uh, one, what, during each end phase, I can pop a card on the field. Each end phase. Two, if a card got destroyed by battle, I get to destroy a card on the field. Three, if, I, if something got destroyed by card effect, except by its own effects, I get to destroy a card on the field. So I just uh, I just keep ripping cards from my opponent. Yeah. <laughs> oh, also this effect, I, whenever I target my own rockets, it triggers those. Like that's one of the going first yeah, combo. Yeah. I use this to trigger silver rockets and right. rip a card from my, my opponent extra deck. And uh, two synchros, Boros Savage and uh, J Draco Berserk of Thing. Hmm. Uh, Boros Savage, obviously, it's a rocket yeah. deck, face monster. Yeah. Uh, I summon him way more. <laughs> in defense, because Lightning Storm. So I've never <laughs> really, cool. I've never really enjoyed a game attack effect. Uh, Draco Berserk of Tain. Uh, this is like another fast, like dark level A synchro I can mm -hmm. play. Uh, if it has first effect, whenever opponent mo activate a monster, I can banish it. It doesn't negate it, but still like pseudo negate some of things. Like I've, yeah. I played an Orcus round two. Yeah. And uh, he has a Gizmak in the graveyard. I summoned this. Not, yeah, you, right. his, his Gizmak is this. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it has a second effect. Whenever it beat over monsters, it gained the attack. And I'm able to attack again in the same turn. Yeah. On monsters. Yeah. So, and like, the gain attack is permanent. I've made this guy like 7k some po something at one point. Yeah, that's the extra. Borsor number two? Yeah, it's Borsor number two. Before you go on, what does Dangerous Dragon do? Oh yeah, do? I forgot to explain that one. So this one, it, it does nothing on the board. It's a link to generic, require only Dark Dragons. So I usually link the Guard dra Dragons away for this. So I'm no longer locked on Dragons. And uh, this one has a grave effect. Whenever I summon or special summon a rocket to my board, I get to bring this back for free. It just get banished afterwards. So this become like free link to materials afterwards. Nice. Yeah, that's the extra deck. And uh, for the side deck, everyone's reading my cards, so I'm expecting going to time. There's the uh, hot rep. Uh, card is actually not once per turn. It's per copy, not per name. So I've uh, practiced to see how many times I can resolve this against like Nibiru or hand traps. The result is, at most case, I can resolve it three times in a turn. Assume the first two fail. Oh. The set, then there's our two Nibiru, two Dark Ruler, three Lightning Storm, three Evenly if we're going second. Uh, nice. That is already good go going first, so I didn't play that many going first cards. Yeah. I do kind of want to max out this, but I don't have space for it. Because yeah. I play, uh, this all the reboot for the trap deck. Yeah. And uh, the rest are the going first cards. Uh, 
I'm a, a little bit worried yeah. about Dark Cooler and maybe sometimes Lightning Storm because they the still have the Ink Monster on the board. Yeah. And Mr. Mine. You're right. Shut off Fusion. And Shut off Fusion, those two. Mr. Mine, Shut off Fusion. So I, I want to have some else to go. That's why these cards are here. I've, Matt, every time other decks do good, for some reason, it always uh, has more pendulum hates. <laughs> yeah. Weird. Weird. Everything's good with spells, so we turn, turn off the spells. Like, uh, on finals game three, no, both top eight and finals game three, I just started my hand with combo plus anti-spell. I just auto win at that point. Yeah. I had a board yeah. savage with anti-spell and enough damage on the board. It, even he, like, the only else he technically could have is if he draw super poly, he didn't. Or he had it evenly, which I had board savage to take care of it. Yeah. So that, that was, that's it. Uh, also, I stopped losing tiger. Right. Which is good. You always gotta stop those pendulum cards. Yeah, the <laughs> pendulum cards. <laughs> Bro, all I gotta say is that deck looks insane. I'm really looking forward to see you play this in Vegas. Yeah. Any last shout outs you wanna give? Uh, shout out to my team, uh, Team Collector Store. Let's see what they want me to say. Uh, <laughs> uh, store code TCS5 for 5% off for every order. Check it um, out, guys. Yeah. Shout out to all the friends who tasked with me, like back. Well, I was in Philly, uh, especially shout out to David Mendoza. He let me borrow his spiral core. I just did, and just didn't use it. I still appreciate <laughs> him for letting, let me borrow it for like the entire two weeks. Uh, shout out to everyone who test with me online or in real life. And uh, yeah, shout out to everyone for supporting me. Hey, sounds good. Congratulations, mm -hmm. man. It's an incredible feat. Mm -hmm. And hey, we'll see you in Vegas. Later, mm -hmm. guys. See ya.